Hey guys, today's video is very exciting for me. I have the Auric Glow Lust Radiant Luminizer by Samantha Ravendahl. I've been following Sam for a few years now. When I first discovered her, I was living in Vancouver and she's from Vancouver, so I just kind of felt just a little bit more of a connection. So when I saw that she was finally releasing her makeup line, I was like, gotta try it, it's like, duh. So I got this on launch day. I went to the website, saw it was $45. And I was like, oh, that's reasonable. And then, I, I don't know, I just assumed it was in Canadian dollars for no reason other than Sam's Canadian, uh, but it was 45 US. So I bought it, checked out, whatever. Um, so for the product and shipping, my card was charged $78.63 Canadian, which is whatever, decent. And then I was reading, uh, I don't know, the confirmation and it was like, this does not include duties or taxes. And I was, Ooh. and I was like, oh, well, I, I hope it's not a whole lot more because I've already paid $78 on this one item, which is a lot, but I'll do it if I like a product. So I live on Vancouver Island. Um, I ordered the product January 26th on launch day, and then it arrived to my mailbox via Canada Post on February 9th. I wasn't charged anything um, extra, no extra duties or taxes. So I guess I consider myself lucky. I honestly have no idea what the rules are with when duties are charged. Maybe if I had ordered more products, probably. But with just the glow last, I just paid once at checkout. The packaging on this is gorgeous. It sits so nicely on my vanity, displayed all the time because I think it's so pretty. And it feels very heavy and luxurious. Uh, the cap is a bit hard to get off though. You really gotta yank on it. It doesn't. To pop off nicely. So the glow list has seven shades. I picked Morganite, which is the lightest. I am pretty pale. I mean, I'm not the palest, but I'm pretty pale relatively. This one is just a smidge dark. I mean, it's not technically a foundation, so I think I can get away with it. But this is the bottle side by side with my Pat McGrath foundation and my Pat McGrath is in the shade Light 2. In the summertime, I'm sure it'll be like no problem, but uh, I still got my winter shade going and it's just a little bit dark. I would like to see at least one shade lighter. Uh, that would be sweet. So this product is pretty versatile. So you can wear it all over your face. You can mix it in with uh, your skincare. You can mix it in with your foundation. You can put it on top of your makeup as a highlighter. You can you can do tons with it. My favorite way to wear this, I guess, is basically just as a foundation. I take quite a generous amount of product, smear it all over my face with a stippling brush, and then go in with a sponge just to smooth it out and show you the before and after. So it's not a ton of coverage. It's not supposed to give you a ton of coverage, but it does even my skin out a bit and gives me a nice glowy base. So that's what I did today. And then I added some concealer, bronzer, and some powder. I know you're probably like, why would you add powder to such a glowy, beautiful base? But I have to, I can't be, I've tried it. I can't be a no powder girl. I just can't. I added a teeny bit under my eyes and I added powder on my nose. That's basically it. I mean, my bronzer is also powder. <laughs> Otherwise I feel too sticky and I feel incomplete. And I feel like if I just look the wrong way at something, my face will just be smeared, gone. I use the Hourglass Veil Loose Powder and I feel like that uh, still shows off the glow really well. So I'm like, that, that, that'll do. I feel like I just look like a mess if I don't use a little bit of powder. Just under my eyes and my nose, that's it. If I don't put powder under my eyes, even if I do put powder on my eyes, I get like creases to the max, so. Upon application, it does feel a bit tackier than a foundation, so I was worried that it would be uncomfortable and feel greasy all day, but it's very lightweight, it's not oily. Once it kind of sets down and dries down, it's very comfortable. It just feels like I'm wearing foundation. I also added a bit on my cheeks after I did my bronzer and everything. I would just add a little bit more of the glow lust on my cheeks. It's more of like a wet, damp glow. I don't really like the word damp, but it's like a wet, even glow. Not really a metallic liquid highlighter, but like a, a dewy, fresh glow. That's like the perfect words to describe it. I love this overall. I love it a lot more than I thought I would. Like my bronzer, my contour is all powder. My uh, highlighters are always powder. Everything's powder except for my foundation and concealer. Like, yes, my skin is dry. I just, I never liked leaving my skin feeling tacky. It's just a it's just a preference that I have. And especially now with the masks, if I put a mask on with this, it's gone instantly. It's like, okay, that's a write off. So, so this has a time and a place for me, uh, but I really like it. I think it makes my skin look really 
healthy and glowy and just, just bright and vibrant. I'm all about it. Honestly love this product. It was worth the $78 for me for sure. Whether or not it is for you, I don't know. I definitely saw a lot of Canadians online that were hurt that this was not more accessible. I'm not even gonna comment on that because I have no clue what goes into opening a business, making, producing products like this. Like, I have no idea. So $78 for me is pretty decent and it's a nice quality product. The packaging is stunning. It does work really well with my foundation too. Um, lately I've been using the Pat McGrath one, like I said, and it just gives it a little bit of extra glow. And since this product is so tacky, it mixes well with my Pat McGrath foundation, which is very liquidy. So it gives me just a little bit of extra coverage there. I don't know if that's actually why, but it is, it, it's super nice to mix in with it. But on days like today where I'm not really doing much, I'm just hanging out. I like it all over my face and then I just let myself glow all day. Let me know your thoughts on this, if you'll be trying it, if you have tried it, um, I'd love to hear it, so let me know. That's all I have for today. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.